again, this is Rick Baxter with Cost Control Software coming to you from Carmel, Indiana. Uh, I'm going to, in this particular segment, talk about a little-known feature within uh, the NAV 2013. Uh, it's been in there a long time, but I think it's very underused, underutilized, and that's contact management. It comes right with your software, and a lot of people don't even know that it's there. And so with the 2013, one of the things that our company has done is we've tried to make it a lot easier for you to use. Um, and uh, I'm going to take you through some examples of that. And there's really two parts to it. The uh, the first part is starter, uh, the starter pack. When you buy the starter pack, you get the... Um, the basic contacts, uh, you get the uh, to-dos, and you also get the Outlook integration. Now, I'm not going to cover the Outlook integration, but I am going to cover the t the uh, contacts and the to-dos. And then in the extended pack, you get the um, campaigns, opportunities, and interactions. And I'll show that in a, uh, an advanced movie. Uh, but today, I, the concept is, you've, you let's say you've been to a trade show, and you've picked up a business card. And on the back, you, you wrote down some things as far as what you had a little discussion with that cust with the uh, prospect. And now you're back at the office, and you need to enter this information into your CRM system. Let me show you how easy this is to do. Let's get going. Okay, so in the software itself, I have created, just to make it easy for you, a salesperson role center, which is part of our foundation pack, and it is uh, included when you purchase our foundation pack, but it is specifically designed for a salesperson. Now, I'm logged in as a JR, so uh, you'll see some activities uh, related to that person. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got our business card and we want to go into uh, contacts and add uh, a contact. Now there is a whole bunch of contacts already in the system. This is a list of my contacts. Notice it's pre-filtered for JR. So I'm just seeing the contacts that are assigned to me. And when I add new ones, uh, I'll be sure to be uh, putting them in there for me as well. Okay, now. Um, the, the way this screen lays out, and I'll just mention a couple things here, you'll see like Gregory, Michael, Belinda, uh, all under New Bank of London, and then the, these other companies. Here's one, Randall Johnson, with uh, Randall Johnson is the company, that's the parent, and then Meg Johnson is my contact. So let's say um, I get this business card. There's really two things I need to do. I need to first set up the company. So let me just give you an example of that. I'm not going to do a bunch of typing here. I just want you to see the concepts. So here is the uh, company. So I put in the company information, Randall Johnson, Inc., and I put in their address. I've also put in a little comment down here of who they are. Uh, so I could uh, set set that up as well. One other thing that's kind of handy to do is to set up a profile. I guess I didn't do that. And I'm going to set up a company profile. I can put in, let's say, the number of employees, the company ownership. It's a family company. And uh, additional business relations. They are, uh, um, you can say, a partner or a competitor. Maybe I don't need to say that. Uh, and you may want to specify that it's also uh, the uh, government type of uh, we didn't set that up for multiple, so I'll take that one off. That's fine. Okay, so we've just got it as a family business from one to five hundred, and you set up you set up the questions. Then you just okay that, and you see the questions now show up down here. Hopefully, you can see that on your screen. Uh, company ownership is family, and number of employees one. 100 to 499. So pretty quickly you can set up the basic information about that company. And I just did that by hitting new up here at the top. And then the next thing you would want to do is put in the actual person at that company. So you would do new again and then you would um, end up by entering in the person contact. So person I'm going to put in Meg Johnson. I'm not going to type all this in, but I, I did make a note here that on this date, I always like comments associated with that 
a particular person. So Rick talked to Meg at the Paver trade show. So I was at a, a trade show and I picked up the card. She's interested in uh, striping on their parking lot. So I wanted to start at least some basic information about uh, about this person. Now the other part of this, and and that's the contact. That's the basics of contacts. Okay. Now you can extend this with to dos. So here is my to dos choice right there on the screen. To dos, and let me just go into that, and then you set up. Um, this is where you create new to dos, or you close them out if you finish that particular to do. Um, but this is, uh, it's basically here, it's a phone call, Rick, to call and set up a site visit. So I'm specifying to myself what they, uh, what I want to do next. And I've got the person's name and their phone number nice and handy right there so I can uh, make that phone call and uh, set up that next visit. So I start to build for each of my contacts my to-dos with each one of those people. Pretty straightforward. Then I could also, you can see all, because it's not just one to-do, you have multiple to-dos. So you can come back to your organizer's to-dos, which is basically you. So this is all of the JR organizer to-dos. Call to set a demo, review installation plan with this company. Uh, call set up the site visit. Uh, call for delivery of proposal. So e these are each of the to-dos. I can always double click on a given to-do and see more information if I need to. To-dos can have comments. To-dos can have, uh, you know, all the information that you need to uh, build that relationship. This is all about relationship building and uh, talking with the, the, uh, the people. So that these are the two main things that you'll be using. Contacts, right here is contacts. So this is your contact list and to-dos. If you have purchased the uh, starter pack for NAV 2013, this is the way it works. Um, and you would, I do want to encourage you to look at our foundation pack because this is how we kind of lay out the screens as well just to make it, um, we've, we've done a few little enhancements throughout the system, added in some uh, better access to reporting, uh, some fact boxes uh, on the right side for each of these uh, companies. So I hope you'll consider uh, the foundation pack and the CRM improvements within the foundation pack. Thanks so much.